Plain Grounded is a publisher of jigsaw puzzles that publishes puzzles with very high production values in small batches and are all based on original art. So these are illustrations that you don't find anywhere else. So you have, they have a little bit of this boutique uh, style or approach to puzzles, but at the same time they remain affordable. They are not uh, one of those companies that make crazy, crazy uh, expensive puzzles. The puzzle I'm going to review today by Playing Grounded is called the Gargoyle Keeper. So here, this is the box, and it shows us what uh, players of fantasy role-playing games already know, that somebody needs to feed those gargoyles. Actually, it's precisely when no one feeds them that they start feeding on party parties of adventurers. So this is the box. Large and very nice. It's large enough that you can use it as a tray, which is what I did. And this is the actual puzzle when it is solved. It is a thousand piece puzzle, so definitely not, you know, the smallest endeavor. But it's not the size that makes this puzzle particularly challenging. It is the image, which is very beautiful once you solve it. But again, the real challenge is simply from the patterns and the distribution of colors and shapes. This definitely is a challenging puzzle. I had a good time solving it, but because from time to time I do enjoy, uh, you know, hitting my head against the wall a bit. It is very hard. And sometimes you look at the puzzle when this is done and you think, okay, how hard can it be? I mean, I can tell how the different areas are very uh, different from one another. They clearly stand out. Yes, after you solve it. In truth, uh, so many of these areas look like a simple single big blob when you're solving them. When they all mix together, the bodies of these gargoyles are all one thing. Even these edges here, they are hard to tell apart. So the edge where that dark area borders with that yellow, when you solve it, is not that different from that gray border in that yellow, that gray border in that yellow that area there, and so on and so forth. This section here with the body, so these three gargoyles, sort of like in penumbra, half shade, or with uh, light and shaded area, all mixed together, very, very difficult. Even the, the quote unquote, the easiest thing, well, this blue is very distinctive, and that's really the first part that I solved. In truth, then, as you can see, there are all these other small areas uh, that are spread out. So although you do have a main area with blue, then you have all these other areas that, uh, that well, you simply have to keep those small areas. Uh, you solve them, oh yeah, two blue pieces together, and they stay there for a long time until you're able to solve this other part here, and then you kind of like fit them in. So the distribution of colors is such that you have some things that stand out very clearly, again, the blue ones, but then you have minor areas with that same pattern that don't connect with one another. This probably is the easiest, was the easiest thing uh, to do, but once I did that, and maybe this line here, oof. It was challenging. So pretty much I approached it in, in blotches. This light, uh, after doing this section here, and this orange angel here, then I did the light yellow, or the edges of course, and after that it was just a tough climb. Each area really required careful discernment, careful observation of the tiniest detail to really be able to tell the difference in texture from the neck of this gargoyle to the neck of this other gargoyle and so on and so forth. I'm happy that I did it because from time to time I do like a good challenge, but again, that's just a warning. It's a really rewarding puzzle, but it's going to be slow going. And just and just pretty hard. At the very least, uh, production values again are really good. The fit is very good. As you can see here, I can lift up a good section of it without fear of losing it. So once you click together several pieces, you can move them around, try them in different places. You're not gonna have the problem of those pieces falling apart and you having to redo things. So nice and thick pieces that really fit together. And the cut. Uh, 
gives you a large variety of shapes, which of course is fun to play with, but also uh, gives you information about, you know, which piece may go where, based again on the variety of the grid. So what you have here is a grid, definitely a grid, because as you can see each piece connects with the other ones at the corner. No crazy shapes, but a nice variety of shapes, a nice variety of different patterns of connectors. That definitely is gonna be very helpful. This part here, whatever it is that this guy's fit into the gargoyles, a mix of squids and bones and fruit. This part here, for some reason, was extremely hard. I would have expected from looking at the image of the cover that it would be easy, but it's not entirely. If nothing else, because some of these lines here also look like they may belong to the body of some of the gargoyles, but that was tough. So in any case, what you have here is a tough, but fair challenge. What kills the fun in a puzzle is not the challenge per se, at least to me is the false positives, and I don't think I had any at all. It's hard to fit the pieces, meaning to figure out where they go, but once you do, you know you have like you have it locked down, you know you got it right, and then you just move on. And so every piece that you place, no matter how hard it was, gives you that satisfaction to know that you are one, that you are one step closer to solving the puzzle. So the Gargoyle Keeper, definitely a difficult and challenging puzzle, but a beautiful one, well produced and definitely rewarding and fair.